Do you like being tanky? How about poking your enemy from miles away? How about hugging your opponents? Then I'd like to introduce you to this abomination called Hinami Stage 2. The rework now includes 3 modes instead of 2. This just makes the weapon much more complex and way harder to use. Starting off, if you equip the weapon, you'll be equipped with dual mode. It's a mix between Kokaku and Rinkaku. Let's start off with a click. You clap with your Cogni and knock targets back. The knockback is half a second and the cooldown is 2 seconds. This ability is very good for keeping enemies away from you or getting them off you. On to the next ability. You shift targets in front of you with your Rinkaku tendrils. This ability knocks targets away, but if you hold E long enough, you pull targets to you instead. The pull deals extra damage and the knockback is pretty short. This ability is pretty good for pulling kiters and runners towards you. It can be used defensively and you can push people away if you just don't hold E. For the R move, you leap into the air using your Rinkaku tendrils, then you use your Kokaku wings to slam down, dealing damage in a massive shockwave. There's also an extra shockwave that you can aim, making it much easier to reach enemies. This ability catches most players off guard and it deals good damage. The block on this mode is unbreakable and reduces 67% of the incoming damage. While blocking, you are able to walk, but you cannot dash. Now, if you press F, you'll swap to Rinkaku mode, which will equip you with 4 Rinkaku tendrils. If you want to return to dual mode, just tap F again. The click makes you stretch your tendrils for a long range stab. This inflicts bleed, meaning that it deals true damage. Due to the low cooldown, this is best used at long range and as a pressure tool. The E ability is a press and hold barrage. On a normal target without any resistances, it deals around 25% of the health per second. Be careful because you are very vulnerable while using this and ending the barrage puts the ability on a 2 second cooldown. It's best used as a poke tool to pressure your opponent from a long distance. Something important to remember is that the hitbox gets smaller at maximum range as the hitbox is cone shaped. Onto the R ability, you slam the 4 tendrils creating 4 different shockwaves that knock enemies up and away. The range is pretty far and damage is really high if you hit all of the shockwaves. You can make each shockwave travel in different direction. The cooldown is 4 seconds and the shockwaves deal a lot of damage if you hit them all. The block on Rinkaku mode is also unbreakable with a 50% damage reduction. You cannot move at all while using this and it's essentially worse than a normal block. On to the Kokaku mode, which is the third mode, which is activated by pressing C. You'll be equipped with 4 Kakuhu wings. The click makes you slam the ground, creating a shockwave that'll knock any target up. The stun is pretty long and allows you to combo off it. The hitbox is forgiving and alright. Following next, you dash and clap with two of your wings. Anyone caught in this clap will be slammed by the two other wings and be stunned. The best part about this is that your opponent can't punish you after you land it since the stun time is long enough. The only downside to this ability is that it has barely any range, but it's still enough range to punish enemy melee users. The final move, that being R, you protect yourself with a 100% damage reduction and anti-grab. The move is press and hold. After letting go of the R key, you dash forward and deal damage to enemies that you pass through. Being grabbed while holding R will cancel the ability but will nullify the grab. This ability has a fairly high cooldown, which is like 5 seconds, so make sure you use it wisely and defensively. Using R while blocking will skip the wind up on the ability. The block on this mode is unbreakable and has a 67% damage reduction. While blocking, you can dash around, but casting or using any abilities will force you to unblock. After the combos, I'll let the clips speak for themselves since there's not much to say about the combos.